Hey guys, this is Brian with Simple Man's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation Investing. I'm back again with another pre-order video for you guys. This is going to be for DC Comics that are coming out in February that you can pre-order during the month of December. Remember, by pre-ordering these comics, you can save anywhere between 20 and 50% off the cover price. And by pre-ordering, you get to put some of that money back in your wallet, which always helps. That way you're not waiting until release date and trying to scramble to find what comics are out. By pre-ordering them, you already have them coming to you or waiting for you in your pool box. Having said that, these comics are going to come right out of December's Previews magazine. So let's go and get this kicked off. First up, we have All-Star Batman number 7. Scott Snyder continuing to write. This one, we have a new artist and Tula Lote joining the team. And it's Poison Promises and it highlights Poison Ivy stealing the spotlight and Batman's continuing rogues gallery. There's also a, a Francisco Francavilla variant edition for this. There's also a Tula Lute variant for this. Both are regular price, one for one variants. I do not see a Jock variant listed for this in this month's previews magazine. Next we have Batman Beyond number 5. This is the finale for the Escape in the Grave story arc. In this issue, Batman and Terminal face off for the last time as secrets are revealed that will affect Terry McGinnis forever. There's also a one for one variant for this by Martin Anson. Batman number 16 and number 17. These are the first two issues in a brand new story arc called I Am Bane. Writing by Tom King and art by David Finch. There's also one for one variants for both these issues by Tim Sale. Here we have the Batwoman relaunch and Batwoman rebirth number one. Cover art on this is done by Steve Epting. There's also a one for one variant by Jay Lee on this. Interior art is done by Ben Oliver. So basically this one, this issue we're going to learn where Batwoman comes from and where she's going. It's one shot prologue to the first big Batwoman epic, The Many Arms of Death. Detective Comics number 950 and 951. Issue 950 is the League of Shadows prologue, and issue 951 is going to be the part one for League of Shadows story arc. Issue 950 is going to be extra size, celebrate 950 issues. Also, both of these are going to have a one-for-one -one variant done by Raphael Albuquerque. Here we have Direct Currents number two. Now, this is a great book because it's free. That's right. It's basically DC's previews book. It's got Batman, Flash, Justice League. It gives you a backstage pass into DC Comics and lets you know the secrets of every DC Universe title. Gives you sneak peeks at exclusive artwork, creator interviews, and upcomer storylines such as this summer's DC's crossover event. Want to know more? Direct Currents is the magazine you need. Flash number 16 and number 17. This is going to be part 3 and the finale of the Rogues Reloaded story arc. Both of these are going to have a 1 for 1 variant by Dave Johnson. This continues to be my favorite comic of the DC Rebirth relaunch. Carmine D. Gian Domenico has been doing absolutely awesome with the covers. And that's the regular covers on these. Dave Johnson does great with the variants as well. Either way, continue to read these comics. I love each and every one of them, and I advise you to pick them up. He-Man Thundercats number 5. This is going to be number 5 of 6. I've been picking this up purely for nostalgia factor. I grew up with He-Man. I grew up with Thundercats. If you like either of those, this is definitely a comic worth picking up because it's been fun read. Either way, I'm going to continue to pick it up and see it on it all the way through. Justice League of America Rebirth number 1. This is going to spin directly out of the events of Justice League vs. Suicide Squad. You have Batman, Black Canary, Killer Frost, The Ray, Vixen, Adam, and Lobo. Looks like a great pickup. Looking forward to reading this issue. It's written by Steve Orlando. Art and regular covers done by Ivan Rice and Joe Prado. There's also a one-for-one -one variant for this by Ryan Otley. In addition to the Rebirth issue, we're also going to have Justice League of America number one. Now, the same creative team as the Rebirth issue. It's going to have Steve Orlando as writing, Ivan Rice and Joe Prado on art. There's also a blank variant for this. There's also going to be a one-for-one -one variant by Mark Brooks for this issue as well. Here we have Red Hood and the Outlaws number seven. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have been picking this comic up lately or not, but since DC Rebirth launch, I've actually enjoyed reading these. It's not the best of Rebirth, but it's still a good read nonetheless, so I continue to add it to my pre-orders. Also, I really like the cover on the regular issue for this one, but there is a one-for-one -one Mateo Scalera variant for this as well. Suicide Squad number 11 and number 12. This starts the Burning Down the House story arc, which spins directly out of the Justice League vs. Suicide Squad storyline. You have Rob Williams' is writing, you have Riley Rosmo on art, and both regular covers are done by Philip Tan, but also be aware that they have the one-for-one -one variants by Lee Bermejo. Super Sons number one. 
Now, this is a comic I've been waiting for a while to come out. I'm excited to have it on pre-order. Anyway, it introduces a new villain. It's also going to be the debut-ish. It looks at the lives of Robin and Superboy as their destiny to follow in their father's footsteps. Either way, what I do like about this right now, at the current solicitation, there's only a one-for-one one variant for this. It's by Dustin Wynn. I'm sure there'll probably be some store variants that pop up for this. But this is a title I'm excited and can't wait to get my hands on. Superwoman number seven. Now this is going to be the finale for the Who Killed Superwoman storyline. Now just like I said about the Red Hood comic, this isn't the best out of DC Rebirth. But it is a comic that I enjoyed reading issue after issue. So I keep adding it to my pre-order list. And by pre-ordering it, I save that discount. So I don't feel like I'm spending as much money on it. Either way, I continue to read it. It's a great comic that I like to read. I advise everyone else to give it a chance. Also, there is a one-for-one -one variant for this by Renato Guedas. Teen Titans number five. This is the finale for Damien Knows Best storyline. Absolutely love this comic. Damien Wayne has been fantastic. Koi Fam's art has been fantastic. Cover art by John Boy Myers, fantastic. Writing by Ben Percy, fantastic. So pick this comic up, because guess what? It's fantastic. Also, be aware there's another fantastic one-for-one -one variant for this by Chris Burnham. Titans number eight. This is going to be part one to the Made in Manhattan story arc. Wally West and Titans adjust their new lives in New York City and investigate mysterious new threat. Now, I've always liked the Teen Titans and the Titans comics better than Justice League and Justice League of America. It's always been a better team-up read for me. That's just my opinion. But I've been enjoying the direction that Dan Abnett's been taking this. Either way, I'm going to continue to pick these up. Be aware also there is a one-for-one -one variant for this by Nick Bradshaw. Back from the dead, guys, we got Wildstorm number one. This is going to be written by Warren Ellis, art by John Davis Hunt. Also, there's going to be a black and white variant for this. There's a Jim Lee variant for this. There's also a Lotte variant for this as well. Warren Ellis writes great stories. I'm glad he's bringing this comic series back. So I'm definitely going to pre-order issue number one, see how it goes from there. Probably continue to pre-order at least to the first story arc and see how we like it. So there it is, guys. These are my picks for comics that I'm going to be releasing from DC Comics in February of 2017 that you can pre-order right now in December. As always, I know I probably left some titles out that you guys might like. Please comment on those. Let us know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, be on the lookout because I'm going to be doing these for DC, Marvel, IDW, Dark Horse, Boom, Independent, and Small Press Comics. So keep looking out for those videos. Also, to make sure you don't miss out on any of those videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that thumbs up button if you like it. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you later.